Wrapping a handlebar tape is a bit of an art form. We asked Paul Wooten from Woolies Wheels if he could explain his method of wrapping handlebar tape. And here it is, a lot slower than he normally does it, but with an explanation of a couple of the tricks that he does along the way. So how to wrap bar tape? Do you want to do it like just the traditional tape or do you want it to be cool like some people wrap so there's like no electrical tape? I just asked Paul if he could give us a, just a quick five minute how to on wrapping bar tape. If you do it properly it's fantastic, if you do it badly it's basically throw the bike away and never ride again. So yep. how can someone do their bar tape at home and yep. feel good about themselves on Christmas morning? Yeah that's a, a very good question. Um, they probably shouldn't be wrapping bar tape on Christmas morning, generally. But um, Boxing day. Yeah, I like to get your bar tape all ready over the bike. I've got my electrical tape. My scissors are in my pocket. Basically, everything you need should be close to you. Because when you start a side, you want to complete the whole side. Have your hoods already tucked back. Um, and there are a lot of different ways to wrap. Um, and I'm not saying that any one way is right. Like a lot of the time you can tell which mechanic has actually worked on a bike by how they wrap their tape. Um, it's just kind of one of those things, but I'll generally start on the inside of the bar um, and I'll pinch the bar tape. So I've got about half of it overlapping the end of the bar. Um, and whenever you're wrapping around, you always want to be pulling a pretty good amount of tension, um, not overly stretching it. Um, and I'll do one complete revolution um, and you can kind of see like, the amount of excess I have there. Um, there's a reasonable amount. Um, and then basically what we're going to be doing um, is I'm just going to be always keeping tension on the bar tape as I go around. And as I come up, I'm looking for the edge of the previous one to be overlapped by about a third each time. Um, and you don't really need to overcomplicate it. Um, just overlap it just by a third each time um, and as you go you're just going to curve here so you're actually going to need to overlap more once you get up to the curve but um, at the start it's nice and straight so you just keep on going and I'm using my left hand so that I can actually bring the tape back around and not lose any tension on the tape um, and we'll just keep going up and as I'm going you'll see I'll go back and forwards basically I'm doing that I'm just trying to line the tape up um, keep it nice and neat. And once we get up to the bend, I'll start looking at the underside. And I'm looking to overlap by about a third to a quarter um, on the underside. It's a really stretchy tape, and stretchy tapes are the easiest to wrap. Um, so we keep on going, and we'll just get ourselves up to the um, up to the lever. So you see, I've just hit the lever, and there's a few different ways you can go around this. Some people use a short bit of tape put in here, which is called cheat tape. Um, you don't generally need that. You can just do the usual way as the figure of eight. So once I've got up, I'm like, it's like I'm going to continue wrapping, but obviously the lever's in the way. So I'm going to go over, um, and I'm going to make sure that I overlap the lever, and I'm going to come back round. So if you had cheat tape in there, you would just keep going now, but I don't, and we need to hide this. Um, so I'm going to come back around here and this is where it becomes like a figure of eight um, I'll go back under um, <coughs> back to the inside of the bar so now we've we've basically gone over gone back under again and now we are as though we're going to just continue wrapping um, and always check make sure we're tight and yeah we are nice and tight um, and then we can just continue wrapping the tape um, again Always just put it nice and tight. You can see the amount of overlap that we've got here each time round. Um, and the same as on the bottom here, when you're on a turn, look at the outside of the turn, and that's where you want to make sure that your tape is overlapped a good amount, because if you don't, you'll have a gap there, you'll have a crease, um, and don't you don't need to worry about where it ends up on the inside, because if you do it right on the outside, it will naturally end up in the right place. Um, so yeah, and then we'll just wrap a lot easier when it's in a stand, but now we can just wrap all the way. 
still with just a little bit of overlap. Um, if you want to have more pad in here, a little bit more comfort, you can wrap it a little bit tighter. So you'd give like less, um, sorry, more overlap like here. Um, but generally, a third is a good, good kind of good in between. Gives like a nice, nice smooth feel um, without the bars being overly padded. Um, and then we can wrap all the way. And if you've got a narrow bar, you might finish earlier. But this is just standard, um, standard round bar. Um, so usually we'll go with three fingers um, from the stem. It's nice and easy. Um, some people you, you can measure it if you want to be really precise. Um, or you can go to a logo, which is, is pretty common. Um, but generally, I'll be looking at about uh, three fingers width. And then to cut the tape, hold the tape as though you're going to continue wrapping. So you can see that the line of the tape coming off the bar is parallel to the lines I've got there before. So I'm not holding it straight at a 90 degree angle. It's coming off at an angle. Um, and where I want the tape to finish, so just in here, I'll imagine a line coming out at 90 degrees and I will cut straight in on that line. Um, so for this one, we'll make our cut. And that's going in straight towards the bar to give us a nice smooth finish. Um, sometimes with the stretchier tapes, they do move as you cut them. Um, but that's fine, we can even that up. Um, and then we will wrap that up and see where it takes us. So we might take a little bit more off. I'm going to try and basically get us to the end of where the finish is here so we can basically be on just the gloss. Um, so you can see I basically pulled it tight all the way around. It's in a nice straight line. Um, I'm using my hand to stop the tape from unwrapping. Um, get your electrical tape that's already unwound. Um, and I'll usually start that at the bottom. Um, and then pull, just pull smoothly around with the edge of the electrical tape on the edge of the bar tape. And Usually two to, three, two to three times around is all you need. I'm just using the electrical tape to kind of just stretch and mold itself over the tape. Get our scissors, cut that off. And then, all good. And there we are, bar tape.